Tonight we're looking at why so few people voted Saturday and how it may have affected the race for governor. We don't know how those people might have voted, but WGNO's Kenny Lopez spoke with a political analyst who knows there was plenty of voter apathy. Kenny. You know, Kern Susie, political analysts are calling voter turnout abysmal, especially in Orleans Parish, where only 27% voted. Pundits believe several factors came into play as to why many voters didn't bother to head to the polls. I mean, overall statewide, it was 36%. Uh, and for uh, an election that happens every four years, it's disappointing that we didn't have a bigger turnout. Rates. Political we analyst were, you know, Jeff Cruer says bag. voters were apathetic about this election statewide. Roughly 300,000 fewer voters came out this time than came out back in uh, 2019. He says many factors played into the low voter turnout, especially because the governor's race between Republican Jeff Landry and Democrat Sean Wilson was a blowout. So when you don't have a competitive race, a lot of people figure, well, he's got it in the bag, we're not going to vote. Or if they're one of the opponents, they don't have a chance, we're not going to vote. So if you don't have a horse race, I think that sort of uh, limits some of the interest uh, as well. Breaking down the numbers, Landry won by a landslide with 52% to Wilson's 26% statewide. In Orleans Parish, Wilson got 71% of the vote, while Landry got 10%. Sean Wilson did well in Orleans as far as uh, the numbers go. They just didn't have enough uh, show up. With low voter turnout, there won't be a runoff for governor. Even if Sean Wilson would have made the runoff, he would have been way behind, considered a real underdog. Another problem, young voters didn't vote. You need to have candidates who are gonna speak to the issues that are uh, important to young people. It's just sad to think that 64% of the people didn't bother to vote. And we only do this once every four years. And the stakes are so high for Louisiana. Now there are approximately 260,000 registered voters in Orleans Parish. And the last time there wasn't a runoff for governor was back in 2011 when Bobby Jindal was reelected. I agree with Jeff Cruer, Kenny. It's sad when people don't go. So many, thanks. We 